but it's a lucky Friday the 13th because Harland Williams is sticking around for another torturous interview. Yeah, this is great. Is it great? I love it. Am I yeah. the best interviewer you've you ever had? You are the very best and I've ever be had. Yes. You're my best oh, interviewee. Wait. Good. Hey, I went to, uh, I went to uh, Ikea recently. Have you ever been there? I have. In Toronto, where you're from. Yeah, it's huge. Is it not the biggest building you've ever seen you in your to, life? You need a full commitment because you'll get lost. It's huge. It's like a Home Depot and a Walmart got drunk one night, <laughs> made love, and had a chubby Swedish kid. <laughs> Yes. And it's huge. You get, there's huge. so much stuff in Ikea. You got to buy something, right? I bought bunk beds. I live alone. What the hell's going on? It's for your chihuahua. It's for my little <laughs> chihuahua. I put the chihuahua on top. Yeah. And you try to put this stuff together. You ever try to put the Ikea stuff together? Yes. You need a drink and a lot of patience. You need a genius in the house. I've tried to put the bunk beds together. It took me five hours. When I was finished, I had a new oven. <laughs> the heck's going on there? <laughs> so stand-up is what you're doing yeah. right now. It's why you're yeah. in Rochester, but you yes. are also... Dumb and Dumber was your first movie, which is just... Yeah. Su it's surprising because you're so memorable. Oh, thank in you. In that movie. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You know, that was my very first movie, and uh, I only was in it for about four or five minutes, but people to this day remember my, my scene as the uh, cop who drank the bottle of pee out of the... <laughs> Jim Carrey peed in a beer bottle and I pull him over and drink it and people just remember that you know I did the whole <laughs> you know that crazy face people just uh, always come up and quote the lines to me and that was the beginning of my movie career went on to do uh, Half Baked and Something About Mary and Down Periscope and Superstar and Rocket Man and Sorority Boys and it just keeps going on do and you, on. Do you have a favorite? Because everyone's got a favorite movie you're in, right? Of yeah. that list. But what is, do you have? You a know favorite? what? I love them all because movies are such little gems. Like they're such, they're such great experiences, and the, each movie resonates with different people, and so. They're, they're all little gems, and I love them all. It, they're, they're like your kids. They're just, you love them all. They're so much fun. So. And speaking of kids, you have a lot of, you do a lot of stuff for kids. You have a book. You uh, have a show. Yeah, I have a, a show on Disney. It's like the number one show on Disney Junior. It's called Puppy Dog Pals, and we're, in our, we're supposed to start our third season, and it's about uh, two little pugs, Rolly and Bingo, and they live <laughs> with their owner, Bob. I do the voice of Bob. And they go off every day on these crazy adventures while Bob's at work, and they go, they traipse all over the world, and uh, kids just love the show. So that keeps me busy when I'm not on the road doing my stand-up. Yeah, what inspired you to do a kids' show? Uh, well, I've, I'm an artist. I studied animation in college, and so uh, I've just always been interested in drawing and, and animation, and so... Uh, I pitched Disney this show a few years ago, and now it's like a big hit, and yeah. uh, and uh, kids are loving it all over the world. I, it's, it blows my mind. Our, if you go on YouTube and you look up Puppy Dog Pals, they put up a free episode, and I think this thing has almost 60 million views. Wow. And I'm like, what the heck's going on? It's pr it blows my mind. So so parents can make their kids jealous by going and seeing you yeah. at the Carlson. <laughs> the yeah. next, you have four shows left. The four next shows. Two tonight. Two tonight, two Saturday. I do, I do the... Uh, the show's for the adults there, and then the next morning, their kids can watch me do puppy dog pals. But it's funny because sometimes people will bring their, they have stuffed toys of puppy <laughs> dog pals, and they'll bring them to my, my shows at night, and I'll sign them for their kids oh, and fun. stuff. So it, it's a lot of fun. I get to make everybody laugh. And to watch you once isn't, doesn't mean you don't want to see you again, right? Because you said all four of these shows are going to be different. Yeah, well, I talk to the crowd extensively. I love to do crowd work. I mean, I have my act, but I really love to get in there with the crowd. And what happens when I come to town, a lot of people come and see me again the same weekend. I had a guy last night when I did a meet and greet after. He goes, I think I might come tomorrow night and watch you again because he knows it's going to be all different when I talk to the audience. So it's I play off the crowd a lot. Is that something you've been doing from the beginning or something you learned how to do and that you liked doing? It's something I always wanted to do, but when I first started stand-up, I was terrified. So for the first two years, I literally would come out and stare right into the lights. I was actually afraid to look at the crowd, but I thought, someday I want to I wanna riff with them. And then I slowly kind of got my footing, and now it's a big part of my show. I just love to talk to the crowd. Do you have a favorite crowd moment? Uh, you know, I, 
Wow, that's a really good question. A favorite, you know what? I have a, one that happened recently. I was uh, I was doing a show in Indianapolis, and I asked the guy what he did for a living, and he said, "I, I work in a blast furnace." <laughs> I said, a, "A blast furnace." First of all, how are you alive? And second of all, I was thinking, this is the only guy in the world. If he ends up going to hell at the end of his life, he'll be the only guy down there walking around going, "Yeah, so." <laughs> all point. right, Arlen, I don't want to cut you off, but we gotta go. We yeah, gotta let's hit break. go. Where um, are we going? So, comedy of the Carlson, oh. seven o'clock tonight. Seven thirty and ten tonight, and seven thirty and ten on Saturday. Yeah, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. Come on out, Rochester, you nuts.